final form, Neighbors, but we can get a zoom on that. Definitely sure. something we should check. Video let's kind of push in. Try and start at the top and just go down a little bit so we can see all the different okay. zoids. Nice. Are the dark patches something else colonizing, or is it part of the siphonophore? That's a really good question. I'm not sure. They seem to be pretty evenly spaced. Well, I guess yeah, not. Yeah, they do, do they? Um, I'm not sure if they're different from the other. Or if it's like a special. All right, full wide video. Yeah. I'm not sure. Thank you. Beautiful. Uh, reproductive. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, nice. That's, that's so weird. Cool. Yeah, they're just trying tentacles behind there. instead of down. That's a beautiful shot of those tentacles. Those tentacles are probably packed with nematocysts. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's going in and out. What's <laughs> that really long oh, right. yeah, for? Yeah, cool. you can see it in the. Uh, yeah. Close to this guy. Let's do it now. Okay. There you get enormous. Yeah, siphonophores are um, colonial organisms. They're related to jellyfish, but they're um, what looks like one individual. This whole long chain is actually made up of um, multiple That's individual animals. The um, zoids that we're looking at now are the feeding zoids. So they have these long tentacles hanging down from them that help catch their food. Um, but up at the top of the organism are a series of bells, um, which are individuals that are um, provide the swimming and propulsion for the animal. So they all kind of work together, but it's actually um, not all considered one individual. So are the top These ones... They grow in proportion to the size of the chain. Like it would take a lot of energy to move these, this whole thing around. It's a great question. Um, I don't know much about the life history of um, of the siphonophores and how they you know go about forming these chains. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's a really good question. Really or the little hairs hanging off of them. So those are the tentacles that help the siphonophore to feed. So they kind of help increase the surface area of the water that this animal encounters. And they um, can get marine snow, um, those white organic particles that we see in the background, as well as zooplankton, um, to provide the nutrition for the, the whole colony. What are the red tubes? The red tubes, we believe, are reproductive. Um, and I don't like I said I don't I don't know a lot of the details about the life history of these. But that's a great shot. Yeah. Yeah, this is incredible. Nice. Let me know if I'm getting too close to zoom carry. And there are all those sort of translucent wow. orbs in the back. Those are that's really great. cool too. Yeah. So now do there's a lot going on here. Yeah. This is really cool. So do each one of those um, have to Wild. then feed each of themselves? So they all provide nutrition for the whole colony um, because they're somehow getting nutrition up to the swimming bells, which have no way of feeding themselves. That's the best shot of a siphonophore I've seen. This is yeah, incredible. <laughs> yeah, I've yeah. never seen a siphonophore this close. Trevor, I'm not paying attention to where I am. Really. I'm even more excited about our You're looking great. spirit animal now. This blue sort of yeah. <laughs> curved LDL. Okay, great, thank you. And that's why we're the siphonophore watch. Might make it the high highlights. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's really what cool. I am entering right now. <laughs> nice. The object on the screen is much smaller than you think. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's really it's hard so to identify gelatinous organisms and gut contents. Um, so things, um, <laughs> fish have bones. Um, many of the crustaceans, they have their exoskeletons and they have mouth parts and things that are preserved. Um, wow in the guts of things that feed on them. With the gelatinous animals, there's not a lot to mm -hmm. see. So after even just a little bit of digestion, oh. it can be really difficult to make out whether or not um, they make up some of the components of the gut content. So it's, it's hard to say. This one's amazing. <laughs> wow. Yeah, those long tentacles oh, shimmering. Yeah. Really incredible. And I have to give a huge applause here oh. to Carrie oh, and the I ROV team yeah. <laughs> for this amazing job and okay. footage. It's just two small ones now. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I wonder <laughs> if they regenerate the swimming guys. I bet they I can. I hope so. Yeah. 
They do the uh, sting. They have nematocysts, like stinging cells. So that definitely provides oh. protection from a lot of animals. But like everything in, um, in nature, there always seems to be something that's evolved its way around the protections of other animals. So there may be some things that can feed on siphonophores. And do you find them at higher uh, levels in the water column? Yeah, what we've been seeing on the dives out here on this expedition is that we do see siphonophores yeah, as zoom. a whole throughout the water column, go but go we've zoom. been seeing kind of a transition between different species. So the ones that we've been seeing in the shallower parts of the water tend to be quite a bit smaller. Um, they also seem to be faster moving. They're darting around a lot yeah, more right. than right. these right. ones. So are all, <coughs> are all the siphonophores that we're seeing kind of the same species? Or I guess not really a species, but all the same makeup? Or do they, do um, they vary? Same, uh, species is, is an appropriate term. Um, I, I believe that most, at least most of the ones that we're seeing at this depth are the same. Yeah. But, so I understand it made up uh, of multiple organisms, right? So, mul so multiple I individual animals, but okay. the, they're all the same species, and they're they're um, clones of each other. They have the exact same uh, genetic makeup. Okay, cool. Clones, cool. No, oh, Trevor, I <coughs> felt really bad about a cough the other day, but you've relieved me of that burden. <laughs> I even hit the switch too, and I got it on time. But oh man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nice, nice shot. shot. Yeah. And Style points. 